Okay, I'm down in my uh, workshop and I think I finished my prototype of what I was working on for a battery um, backup system. And uh, this was a relatively inexpensive approach. And so let me show you what I've gotten so far. So first off, I've got uh, two of these, uh, they're called Intimidator AGM batteries. And these are, uh, let me see if I get the part number off of here. They're 8A, where's the get through here? There it is, 8A31DTM. And they're 105 amp hour batteries, deep cycle batteries. And I put two of them in parallel. So that's uh, 210 amp hours, which is a you know, pretty beefy battery. Uh, setup and then I put in a 2000 watt inverter. I have a uh, dual channel battery charger that I've hooked up and then I also bought a, a real simple display and right now I've got the battery charger on. I'm going to show you what happens when I take that off here but uh, in any event this is a fairly simple setup. You only need uh, two pretty good sized jumpers here and then, so I've got one in the front, one in the back. And with this display, it comes with a shunt. And then you'll need to uh, get some wiring, and I'll show you what I used here. And then you'll also need uh, some of these uh, um, various connectors to be able to adapt to this uh, um, shunt. Now, what I used, I've actually keep this stuff uh, in my shop. Um, I've used this for my boat trailer wiring. This is a, a five conductor and it, it's actually a low voltage um, sprinkler wire. Um, and I found that it, it just absolutely works great for a lot of different things. And so um, I just use that as a cable that runs off of the back of this thing. Again, this is just strictly low voltage signal that's coming into this. And so you uh, connect up to the shunt and I had to run a uh, jumper from this using another piece of bell wire. I also had some bell wire because it's the same thing over to the positive terminal on the other side. So I have you know two sets of uh, battery charging cables coming in for, you know one for each battery then I have two jumpers I have the shunt and then I have my five conductor wire I have this uh, display and then I have my inverter. And I, I like this inverter, this Ampeak inverter, because it has everything uh, breakered. And then it also has a triple display, so it'll go through tell you your, your voltage um, for your input, your output, and then your power. There's also a USB connector. Um, let me go ahead and unplug. So we unplug the charger. You can see that the voltage comes back down. It was about 12.78. Uh, because uh, these batteries were fully charged overnight. Now, so let me uh, let me go through some of the prices. I found these batteries at uh, kind of a scratch and dent place. Uh, these actually have a date code of 2016. I don't know what they were pre previously used for, but I can go over here and pick these things up, and they have a 30-day warranty, so I can bring them home, kind of run them through the paces, and, you know, if they don't make them like the first... Trojan batteries I bought, they had four of them, and three of them didn't make it. I had to send them back. Now, these Intimidator batteries, uh, I bought four of them the other day, again, for $40 a piece, and all four of these have charged up perfectly. Now, because they're 2016, you know, they've already got three years on them, but AGMs typically, depending on the application, I've had in my boat last as long as like eight years. So in this application, probably get about the same unless I have to start uh, deep discharging them every day in usage, which they're planning on being here, you know, just in case we have a significant power outage and then I can, you know, charge up my cordless drills and you know, power saws and things like that. Uh, but in any event, so far, so I figure I've got $130 for the uh, battery charger, got about $130 uh, from Amazon for this Am Ampeak um, inverter. This thing was about uh, fifteen dollars. My uh, battery batteries were forty dollars a piece. 
Um, and uh, you'd have to get some cables. Those cables probably about ten, twelve dollars a piece. I just happen to have some, or I got them from my solar guy. He had some laying in a box that he gave me. So I'm planning on getting two of these set up. I mean, I probably got no more than uh, three hundred, four hundred bucks in this so far. And uh, so I'm going to set up two of these stations. I've got a second one on my other bench over here. So I think uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is a good startup. And, uh, you know, good Lord, with the 200 amp hour, I mean, I can run this a long time. In fact, I've got this right next to my receiver because uh, I kind of planned on driving this from uh, driving my receiver in the event, you know, something happens so I can get information out there. And this is a tube set. And, uh, you know, it should be pretty well immune to any uh, EMP or CME type issues. I just have to make sure not keep the antenna attached and keep it unplugged unless I'm using it. So anyways, uh, this is what I've got so far. I'm pretty happy with this. This is a, this is a pretty slick little setup. Um, all right, well, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to keep working. i got to get my other batteries set up now. I need to buy one more of these uh, small displays. And uh, since I like this, I'm going to buy another Ampeak inverter. And uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day. God bless.